2010 as the conclusion of the uh, ever tightening NOx and PM standards from EPA. Though we do see the rollout of uh, those tough standards around the world. So China, Brazil, India, uh, Australia, all adopting um, standards uh, lagging behind um, the leading markets, but eventually getting there sooner than, than later. Onboard diagnostics will be, be introduced to all products in 2013. So at the moment, onboard diagnostics, or OBD, is only required for the highest volume rating. And for Cummins, heavy duty, that's the ISX 15 family one. But in 2013, all US on highway, uh, heavy, heavy truck, medium truck, will be required to have OBD. We will also see a tightening of the detection thresholds uh, within OBD in 2016. So in other words, OBD gets tougher in 2016, and we have real work to do in order to meet those uh, levels of detectability. The new greenhouse gas rule, expected to finalize this summer, will bring both fuel efficiency and CO2 requirements. So you, you, you will probably know it's a joint EPA and NHTSA rule, and EPA will be regulating CO2, and then in concert with that, NHTSA will be regulating uh, fuel economy. We see this as a win-win for the industry and for the environment. So lower operating costs, and uh, it's good for the uh, carbon uh, emissions in the environment. The rule will impose separate standards for engines and line haul tractors. So both the engine will have CO2 requirements in grams per horsepower hour, and the tractor will have CO2 requirements in terms of grams of CO2 per ton mile of freight. We see this as an essential enabler for the significant investments we will need to make in new engine technologies, such as waste heat recovery, uh, which we see boosting engine efficiency by up to 